Mm -hmm. Oh my God, that first rental client I had, they were like looking for something and they had a very, very, very low budget and I was like determined to find it. So I go on the computer, I had no idea. I mean, I thought a $1,500 rental client was like winning the Super Bowl at the time. So I'm typing the system and I find, oh, like this one bedroom, it's like Lower East Side, one bedroom, fully renovated. I'm like, I just crushed it. Like I found this listing. I go show up to the apartment and it said, when you arrive at the building, please buzz the super. And uh, there was three bullet holes in it. I had never seen really such a neighborhood. Um, I was, we were all like a little bit in shock. Clients looking like I'm crazy. I'm like, no, no, it's fine. This is like really great. So I decided, how do I get into the apartment? So I just buzzed every single apartment in the building and someone just said, who is it? I was like, delivery. And we basically broke into the building. The apartment was on such a slant that the kitchen was in the middle of it and in the pictures the fridge was on one side um, where you saw the front of the fridge where it opened and when we got in the refrigerator had been is was all the way on the other side against the wall because it had slid because the apartment was so um, slanted. And so I'm we're all holding on. I'm like, the floor's about to fall through. I'm like sitting there, I'm like, you know, those people, although it was my first deal, they wrote a letter to my manager and were like, we went with like a hundred rental brokers and you know, we met this person, he's terrific. Like he, I think, I feel so grateful to work with such a senior agent. And I was like, little did they know it was my first transaction. I had no idea. I mean, truthfully, like I didn't really even understand the difference between a co and a condo when I started in real estate.